Well, hello friends. Happy Cheese Friday. Uh, this week I have a uh, Cypress Grove Sergeant Pepper. Uh, we've had some Cypress Grove cheese before. Uh, I believe we had uh, the Hatch Green Chili. And actually I can't remember the other one. It was Night Something. Uh, but it was like a lavender. Really, really nice. Uh, if you might recall, maybe not, or maybe you're new to the channel and the Cheese Friday, uh, you know, we talk about a cheese every, oh, most weeks. I can't say every week anymore. Obviously, life things have interfered with the production of my YouTube channel, and it is what it is. But uh, we do a lot of cheese here, and obviously I just came back from a big event, and I had shared our big cheese haul from Grandpa's Cheese Barn, but I wanted something different today, and when I was picking up some uh, chicken thighs at the grocery, I saw that they had brought in this Sergeant Pepper. The uh, Cypress Grove uh, is a goat cheese manufacturer in California, and they have won World Cheese Awards with their goat cheese. Everything has always been really delightful, but I hadn't tried this one before, and the Sergeant Pepper is made with uh, chili threads, it has harissa, and what else does it have? Let's see. Uh, spices, harissa, chilies, garlic, cumin, coriander, cayenne pepper, sea salt, uh, shallot, cilantro, lemongrass, lime leaves, enzymes. And you might, I don't know if you would recall or not, but uh, one time when we were making curry, I mentioned how much I really appreciated the addition of uh, lime leaf. So that's a profile that I truly enjoy. So I expect that we will super enjoy this. Let's take a look at it. It's a soft cheese, so let me pop it out of the package here. So I don't want to touch the cheese with just my fingers, but you can see here, you can see the lovely spicing uh, put in throughout. A little bit of the chili threads and some of the harissa. Uh, the camera kind of mutes the color. It's still very pale, but it is kind of almost orangey. And I didn't bring anything to eat with it for here. But I will probably have a couple, uh, a little bit of mixed nuts. Uh, as uh, And probably eat not quite half of this. That's an awful lot of goat cheese. So uh, not quite half is what's going to be my upcoming meal here in a little bit. So... Um, I'm trying to think what I was going to tell you. It's been a while since we've talked about when we we're talking about cheese. So you should know we always talk about hardness. And in which case, goat cheese is a semi-soft. So it's not like ooey gooey runny like a lot of aged or uh, bacterial washed uh, blue cheeses or uh, really, really funky cheeses. But it is very soft, semi-soft, similar to a uh, little stronger than a cream cheese. Wow. Dyson saying hello because someone rolled their chair upstairs. But now he's going to be quiet, we hope. Uh, anyway, so we talk about hardness. We already talked about the color. Now, goat cheese is often um, identified by it being like super bright white. But like I said, because of the spicing, this one's not quite that bright. If it didn't have the uh, orangey color from the chili and the harissa, then it would be stark white. So it does meet that criteria. We always talk about aroma. That's a really big thing with eating cheese. And in this case, I'm getting a little bit of the spice, but also some of that little uh, tartness from the goat cheese. Similar to how you get off the cream cheese, just that little bit of uh, a sour. I don't know if sour is the right word, but that's the one I'm going to use. And it's really nice. I also get like a little bit, a hint of the milkiness as well. So there's our aroma, our color, our hardness. And then of course, it's always a uh, taste. So cheese has a lot of different tastes to it. We'll take us a nice little... Mm. Mm. Oh, that is heavenly. Mm. So, if you like goat cheese, this is like super goat cheese. It is really, really thick. And it uh, coats your entire mouth with that kind of uh, super creamy, just a little hint of the, uh, of the 
of the sourness like you get like off your cream cheese. Uh, oh my god, it is so good. And then the spicing, which I thought might be a bit strong, turns out to be super gentle. Yes, my friend Shauna, if you see this cheese Friday, not spicy in a way that you can't handle at all. I mean flavorful spicy. Uh, unlike the other cheese where we accidentally gave you something hot, uh, this is not hot. This is spicy in a gentle spiced way. So happy Cheese Friday, Cypress Grove goat cheeses. Uh, if you run across them in some of your bougie grocery stores, they are always worth picking up. I've never had one that I didn't care for or was like, ooh, no. And there are cheeses that are sometimes just way too funky for me. Uh, or uh, especially when it comes to adding uh, peppers or chili, for some reason, sometimes they bring up the acidity in the chilies too much and they taste almost off to me. Uh, so, uh, but never an experience like that with uh, Cypress Grove. So I hope that you have an amazing Friday. We'll see you tonight on the Hungry Horde. And I hope to get some more content out for you. I know it's been sparse, but uh, life has not been gentle and we will do our best to get through it. And as you can see, I got pretty sunburned. Guess where I didn't put sunscreen. <laughs> uh, that was our camping event last weekend. The event itself was fantastic. Let me tell you, I was not prepared for camping in an unexpected Labor Day weekend heat wave. Usually it has started to cool down and get so, uh, nice and cool. Oh my God, it was so hot. And I love when it's hot, but it was not just hot, it was humid. Like it felt like we were in the sauna the whole weekend with it turned up on high. It was brutal, but I still had an amazing time and we can talk about that later but time for lunch cheese Friday hope that you have a great day and as our uh, friend uh, Carrie says have a good one bye bye